missed a featured article from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, en.wikipedia.org. The contents of this article are Section 1, Gameplay Section 2, Plot Section 3, Development Section 3, Subsection 1, Audio Section 4, Remakes and Re-Releases Section 4, Subsection 1, PC Remakes Section 4, Subsection 2, Handheld Versions Section 5, Reception Section 5, Subsection 1, Legacy Section 6, References And Section 7, External Links This article has an info box containing an image of the cover of Myst and the following data. Myst was developed by Cyan Worlds, published by Broderbund, Midway Games, Mean Hamster Software, and Sunsoft, and designed by Robin and Rand Miller. Music was composed by Robin Miller. Myst was released on the platforms Mac OS, Windows, Saturn, PlayStation, Jaguar CD, Amiga OS, CDI, 3DO, PlayStation Portable, Nintendo DS, and iPhone OS. Myst was first released on September 24, 1993 for Macintosh in North America. It was released it was released for PSP in Japan on June 15, 2006, and in North America in 2008. It was released for Nintendo DS in Europe during November 2007 and in North America on May 13, 2008. Myst belongs to the graphic adventure and puzzle genres and is played as a single player. Myst was rated E by the ESRB, 3 Plus by the PEGI, All by the RSAC, and ALA by the USK. It is distributed on CD-ROM, and input is accepted by keyboard and mouse. This ends the info box. Myst is a graphic adventure video game designed and directed by the brothers Robin and Rand Miller. It was developed by Cyan Worlds, a Spokane, Washington-based studio, and published and distributed by Broderbund. The Millers began working on Myst in 1991 and released it for the Macintosh computer on September 24, 1993. It was developer Cyan's largest project to date. Remakes and ports of the game have been released for Microsoft Windows, Sega Saturn, PlayStation, Jaguar CD, Amiga OS, CDI, 3DO, PlayStation Portable, and Nintendo DS by publishers Midway Games, Sunsoft, and Mean Hamster Software. Myst puts the player in the role of the Stranger, who uses a special book to travel to the island of Myst. There, the player uses other special books written by an artisan and explorer named Atris to travel to several worlds known as Ages. Clues found in each of these Ages help reveal the backstory of the game's characters. The game has several endings depending on the course of action the player takes. Upon release, Myst was a surprise hit, with critics lauding the ability of the game to immerse players in the fictional world. The game was the best-selling PC game of all time until The Sims exceeded its sales in 2002. Myst helped drive adoption of the then-nascent CD-ROM format. Myst's success spawned four direct video game sequels as well as several spin-off games and novels. Section 1. Gameplay this section includes a screenshot of Myst showing the island's library in the background and a puzzle involving a ship in the foreground. The gameplay of Myst consists of a first-person journey through an interactive world. The player moves the character by clicking on locations shown in the main display. The scene then crossfades into another frame and the player can continue to explore. Players can interact with specific objects on some screens by clicking or dragging them. To assist in rapidly crossing areas already explored, Myst has an optional zip feature. When a lightning bolt cursor appears, players can click and skip several frames to another location. While this provides a rapid method of travel, it can also cause players to miss important items and clues. Some items can be carried by the player and read, including journal pages which provide backstory. Players can only carry a single page at a time, and pages return to their original locations when dropped. To complete the game, the player must explore the seemingly deserted island of Mist. 
There, the player discovers and follows clues to be transported via linking books to several ages, each of which is a self-contained mini-world. Each age, named Selenitic, Stoneship, Mechanical, and Channelwood, requires the user to solve a series of logical, interrelated puzzles to complete its exploration. Objects and information discovered on one age may be required to solve puzzles in another age, or to complete the game's primary puzzle on Myst. For example, in order to activate a switch, players must first open a safe and use the matches found within to start a boiler. Apart from its predominantly non-verbal storytelling, Myst's gameplay is unusual among adventuring computer games in several ways. The player is provided with very little backstory at the beginning of the game and no obvious goals or objectives are laid out. This means that players must simply begin to explore. There are no obvious enemies, no physical violence, and no threat of dying at any point, although it is possible to reach a few losing endings. There is no time limit to complete the game. The game unfolds at its own pace and is solved through a combination of patience, observation, and logical thinking. Section 2. Plot. The game's instruction manual explains that an unnamed person known as the Stranger stumbles across an unusual book titled Mist. The Stranger reads the book and discovers a detailed description of an island world. Placing his hand on the last page, the Stranger is whisked away to the world described and is left with no choice but to explore. The player then gains control and is allowed to wander the new surroundings. Mist, the island world described in the book, contains a library where two additional books can be found, colored red and blue. These books are traps which hold Cirrus and Achenar, the sons of Atris, who lives on Mist Island with his wife, Catherine. Atris uses an ancient practice to write special linking books, which transport people to the worlds, or ages, that the books describe. From the panels of their books, Cirrus and Achenar tell the stranger that Atris is dead, each claiming that the other brother murdered him and plead for the stranger to help them escape. However, the books are missing several pages, so the son's messages are at first riddled with static and unclear. As the stranger continues to explore the island, more books are discovered hidden behind complex mechanisms and puzzles. There are four books in total, each linking to a different age. The stranger must visit each age, find the red and blue pages hidden there, and then return to Mist Island. These pages can then be placed in the corresponding books. As the stranger adds more pages to these books, the brothers can speak more and more clearly. Throughout this process, each brother maintains that the other brother cannot be trusted. After collecting four pages, the brothers can talk clearly enough to tell the stranger where the fifth page is hidden. If the stranger gives either brother their fifth page, they will be free. The stranger is left with a choice to help Cirrus, Eknar, or neither. Both brothers beg the stranger not to touch the green book that is stored in the same location as their last pages. They claim it is a book like their own that will trap the stranger. In truth, it leads to Dunny, where Atris is imprisoned. Upon opening the book, Atris asks the stranger to bring him a final page that is hidden on Mist Island. Without it, he cannot bring his sons to justice. The game has several endings, depending on the player's actions. Giving either Cirrus or Achenar the final page of their book causes the stranger to switch places with the sun, leaving the player trapped inside the prison book. Linking to Dunny without the page Atris asks for leaves both the stranger and Atris trapped on Dunny. Linking to Dunny with the page allows Atris to complete his missed book and return to the island. Upon returning to the library, the red and blue books are gone and there are burn marks on the shelves where they used to be. Section 3. Development. Added to this section is this quote. We started our design work and realized that we would need to have even more story and history than would be revealed in the game itself. It seemed having that depth was just as important as what the explorer would actually see. Rand Miller on Developing Mist's Fictional History. The Mist creative team consisted of the brothers Rand and Robin Miller, with help from sound designer Chris Brandcamp, graphical artist Chuck Carter, Richard Watson, Bonnie McDowell, and Ryan Miller, who together made up Cyan Incorporated. This company had previously only made children's games. 
Myst was conceived by the brothers as a challenging but aesthetically simple game that would appeal to adults. Myst was not only the largest collaboration Cyan had attempted at the time, but also took the longest to develop. According to Rand Miller, the brothers spent months solely designing the look and puzzles of the ages, which were influenced by earlier whimsical worlds made for children. According to the creators, the game's name, as well as the overall solitary and mysterious atmosphere of the island, was inspired by the book The Mysterious Island by Jules Verne. At first, the developers had no idea how they would actually create the physical terrain for the ages. Eventually, they created grayscale height maps, extruding them to create changes in elevation. From this basic terrain, textures were painted onto a color map which was wrapped over the landscapes. Objects, such as trees, were added to complete the design. Rand noted that the attention to detail allowed Mist to deal with the limitations of CD-ROM drives and graphics, stating, a lot can be done with texture, like finding an interesting texture you can map into the tapestry on the wall, spending a little extra time to actually put the bumps on the tapestry, putting screws in things. These are the things you don't necessarily notice, but if they weren't there, would flag to your subconscious that this is fake. The game was created on Apple Macintosh computers, principally Macintosh Quadras. The graphics were individual shots of fully rendered rooms. Overall, Myst contains 2,500 frames, one for each possible area the player can explore. Each scene was modeled and rendered in Stratavision 3D, with some additional modeling in Macromedia Macromodel. The images were then edited and enhanced using Photoshop 1.0. The original Macintosh version of Myst was constructed in HyperCard. Each age was a unique HyperCard stack. Navigation was handled by the internal button system in HyperTalk scripts, with image and QuickTime movie display passed off to various plugins. Essentially, Myst functions as a series of separate multimedia slides linked together by commands. As the main technical constraint that impacted Myst was slow CD-ROM drive read speeds, Cyan had to go to great lengths to make sure all the game elements loaded as quickly as possible. Images were stored as 8-bit PICT resources with custom color palettes and QuickTime still image compression. Animated elements such as movies and object animations were encoded as QuickTime movies with Cinepak compression. In total, there were more than 66 minutes of QuickTime animation. This careful processing made the finished graphics look like true color images Despite their low bit depth, the stills were reduced in size from 500 kilobytes to around 80 kilobytes. Section 3, Subsection 1, Audio Chris Brandkamp produced most of the ambient and incidental sounds in the game. To make sure the sounds fit, Brandkamp had to wait until the game's visuals were placed in context. Sound effects were drawn from unlikely sources. The noise of a fire in a boiler was created by driving slowly over stones in a driveway because recording actual fire did not sound like fire burning. The chimes of a large clock tower were simulated using a wrench, then transposed to a lower pitch. At first, Mist had no music, because the Millers did not want music to interfere with the gameplay. After a few tests, they realized that the background music did not adversely affect the game and, in fact, quote, seemed to really help the mood of certain places that you were at in the game." End quote. Robin Miller ended up composing 40 minutes of synthesized music that was used in the game and later published as Mist, the soundtrack. Initially, Cyan released the soundtrack via a mail-order service, but before the release of Mist's sequel, Riven, Virgin Records acquired the rights to releasing the soundtrack and the CD was re-released on October 6, 1998. The track list for Mist the Soundtrack is as follows. Track 1, Mist Theme. Length, 1 minute 30 seconds. Track 2, Tree Gate. 1 minute 58 seconds. Track 3, Planetarium. 1 minute 38 seconds. Track 4, Ship Gate. 1 minute 27 seconds. Track 5, The Tower. 1 minute 43 seconds. Track 6, The Last Message, 4-Chamber Theme, 2 minutes 34 seconds. Track 7, Fortress Ambience Part 1, 0 minutes 40 seconds. Track 8, 
Fortress Ambience Part 2. 0 minutes, 50 seconds. Track 9. Mechanical Mist Gate. 2 minutes, 0 seconds. Track 10. Cirrus's Cache. 1 minute, 42 seconds. Track 11. Cirrus's Theme. Mechanical Age. 1 minute, 34 seconds. Track 12. Akinar's Cache. 1 minute, 41 seconds. Track 13. Akinar's Theme. Mechanical Age. 2 minutes, 11 seconds. Track 14. Compass Rose. 1 minute, 28 seconds. Track 15. Above Stone Ship. Telescope Theme. 1 minute, 30 seconds. Track 16. Cirrus's Theme. Stone Ship Age. 1 minute, 25 seconds. Track 17. Akinar's Theme. Stone Ship Age. 1 minute, 40 seconds. Track 18. Selenitic Mist Gate. 1 minute, 42 seconds. Track 19. The Temple of Akinar. 1 minute, 35 seconds. Track 20. Cirrus's Theme. Channelwood Age. 1 minute, 32 seconds. Track 21. Akinar's Theme. Channelwood Age. 2 minutes, 7 seconds. Track 22. Unfinale. 1 minute, 57 seconds. Track 23. Finale. 1 minute, 34 seconds. Track 24. A bonus track. Fireplace theme. 0 minutes, 43 seconds. Track 25. A bonus track. Early Selenitic Mist Gate. 1 minute, 16 seconds. Track 26. A bonus track. Original Unfinale. 1 minute, 27 seconds. The soundtrack has a total playing length of 41 minutes, 24 seconds. Section 4. Remakes and re-releases. This section includes a pre-rendered still from Mist and the same scene in real Mist rendered in real time. Section 4, Subsection 1. PC Remakes. Mist's success has led to multiple re-releases and remakes. Mist Masterpiece Edition was an updated version of the original Mist and was released in May 2000. It featured several improvements over the original game, with the images re-rendered in 24-bit true color instead of the original Mist's 8-bit color. The score was remastered and sound effects were enhanced, and some cinematics were redone. Real Mist Interactive 3D Edition was a remake of the Mist computer game released in November 2000 for the PC and in January 2002 for the Mac. Unlike Mist and the Masterpiece Edition, Real Mist featured free-roaming, real-time 3D graphics instead of free-rendered stills. Weather effects like thunderstorms, sunsets, and sunrises were added to the ages, and minor additions were made to the ages to keep the game in sync with the story of the Mist novels and sequels. The game also added a new age, called Rhyme, which is featured in an extended ending. Real Mist was developed by Cyan Incorporated and Sunsoft, and published by Ubisoft. While the new interactivity of the game was praised, Real Mist ran extremely slowly on most computers of the time. Section 4. Subsection 2. Handheld Versions. In November 2005, Midway Games announced that they would be developing a remake of Mist for the PlayStation Portable. The remake would include additional content that was not featured in the original Mist including the Rhyme Age that was earlier seen in Real Mist. The game was released in Japan and Europe in 2006, and the U.S. version was released in 2008. A version of Mist for the Nintendo DS was also released in December 2007. The version features remastered video and audio using source code specifically rewritten for the Nintendo DS. The remake features Rhyme as a playable age with an all-new graphic set. Mist DS was released in North America on May 13, 2008. In August 2008, Cyan announced that the company was developing a version of Mist for the Apple iPhone, internally dubbed iMist. Section 5. Reception. A table on the side includes these review scores. Adventure Gamers gave the game a 4 out of 5. Edge gave it 6 out of 10. GameSpot rated it 8.9 out of 10. Aggregate scores from GameRankings.com are, for the PC version, 90%, for Real Mist, 
70%, for the PSP, 56%, and for the DS, 53%. Myst was a very popular and commercially successful game, along with The Seventh Guest, it was widely regarded as a killer application that accelerated the sales of CD-ROM drives. The game's success also led to a number of games which sought to copy Myst's success, named Myst Clones. Myst was the best-selling PC game throughout the 1990s until The Sims exceeded its sales in 2002. The PC version of Myst holds an average score of 90% at game rankings based on six reviews, although the subsequent remakes of the game and the console ports have generally received lower average scores. Myst's success baffled some who wondered how a game some saw as, quote, little more than an interactive slideshow, end quote, turned out to be a hit. Myst was generally praised by critics. Wired Magazine and the New York Times suggested that Myst was evidence that video games could in fact evolve into an art form. Entertainment Weekly reported that some players considered Myst's virtual morality a religious experience. Aarhus University professor Surin Pold pointed to Myst as an excellent example of how stories can be told using objects rather than people. Laura Evanson, writing for the San Francisco Chronicle, pointed to adult-oriented games like Myst as evidence the video game industry was emerging from its adolescent phase. GameSpot said that, quote, Myst is an immersive experience that draws you in and won't let you go, end quote. Writing about Myst's reception, Greg M. Smith noted that Myst had become a hit and was regarded as incredibly immersive despite most closely resembling, quote, the hoary technology of the slideshow with accompanying music and effects. Smith concluded that, quote, Myst's primary brilliance lies in the way it provides narrative justification for the very things that are most annoying, end quote, about the technological constraints imposed on the game. For instance, Macworld praised Myst's designers for overcoming the occasionally debilitating slowness of CD drives to deliver a consistent experience throughout the game. The publication went on to declare Myst the best game of 1994, stating that Myst removed the, quote, most annoying parts of adventure games, vocabularies that you don't understand, people you can't talk to, wrong moves that get you killed and make you start over. You try to unravel the enigma of the island by exploring the island, but there's no time pressure to distract you, no arbitrary punishments put in your way, end quote. Some aspects of the game still received criticism. Several publications did not agree with the positive reception of the story. Jeremy Parrish of OneUp.com noted that while Myst's lack of interaction and continual plot suited the game, it helped usher in the death of the adventure game genre. Edge stated the main flaw with the game was that the game engine was nowhere near as sophisticated as the graphics. Heidi Fournier of Adventure Gamers noted a few critics complained about the difficulty and lack of context of the puzzles, while others believed these elements added to the gameplay. Similarly, critics were split on whether the lack of a plot the player could actually change was a good or bad element. In a 2000 retrospective review, IGN declared that Myst had not aged well and that playing it, quote, was like watching hit TV shows from the 70s. People watched that, you wonder in horror. Section 5, Subsection 1, Legacy In addition to the numerous remakes and ports of the game, Myst's success led to several sequels. Riven was released on October 29, 1997, and explains how The Stranger came upon the Myst book in the first game. Myst 3, Exile, was released simultaneously for Macintosh and Windows systems in North America on May 7, 2001, and was later ported to the PlayStation 2 and Xbox consoles. Exile was not developed by Cyan. Presto Studios developed the title, and Ubisoft published it. Taking place ten years after the events of Riven, Exile reveals the reasons for Atris's sons being imprisoned and the disastrous effects their greed caused. The fourth entry in the series, Myst 4, Revelation, was released on September 10, 2004, and was developed and published entirely by Ubisoft. 
The music was composed by Jack Wall with assistance from Peter Gabriel. The final game in the Myst Saga was Myst V, End of Ages, developed by Cyan Worlds and released on September 19, 2005. In addition to the main Myst Saga, Cyan developed Uru, Ages Beyond Myst, which was released on November 14, 2003. Uru allows players to customize their avatars and renders graphics in real time. The multiplayer component of Uru was initially cancelled, but GameTap eventually revived it as Myst Online Uru Live on February 15, 2007. On February 4, 2008, GameTap creative director Ricardo Sanchez announced that the game was cancelled and that the servers would be shut down 60 days after the announcement. The Miller brothers collaborated with David Wingrove and wrote several novels based on the Myst universe, which were published by Hyperion. The novels, entitled Myst, the Book of Atris, Myst, the Book of Tiana, and Myst, the Book of Dunny, fill in the game's backstory and were packaged together as The Myst Reader. As of November 27, 2007, the Myst franchise has sold over 12 million copies worldwide with Myst representing more than 6 million copies in the figure. The game's popularity has led to several mentions in popular culture. References to Myst made appearances in an episode of The Simpsons, Treehouse of Horror 6, and Matt Damon wanted the Bourne Conspiracy to be a puzzle game like Myst, refusing to lend his voice talent to the game when it was turned into a shooter instead. Myst has also been used for educational and scientific purposes. Becta recognized a primary school teacher, Tim Rylands, who had made literacy games using Myst as a teaching tool, and researchers have used the game for studies examining the effect of video games on aggression. Section 6. References. This section contains 53 unique references. Section 7. External links. This section contains links to the Real Mist website, Mist at Moby Games, Mist at the Internet Movie Database, and Mist at Mysterium. Wikimedia Commons has media related to Mist. There are internal links to the Mist franchise and related topics. We now come to the end of the spoken article, Mist. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the GNU Free Documentation License, available at www.gnu.org slash copyleft slash fdl.html.